The first case of HIV in Kenya was detected in 1984, and by the mid-1990s, HIV was one of the major cases of illness in the country, putting huge demands on the healthcare system as well as the economy. In 1996, 10.5 percent of Kenyans were living with HIV, although prevalence has almost halved since then, standing at 5.9 percent by 2015. In 2016, 64% of people living with HIV were on treatment, 51% of whom were virally suppressed. Kenya's HIV epidemic is driven by sexual transmission and is generalized, meaning it affects all sections of the population, including children, young people, adults, women, and men. It continues to be a major health crisis worldwide with the top 5 high prevalence counties with a prevalence of more than 9% were Homa Bay, Kisumu, Siaya, Migori and Busia. According to Beatrice Nyagol, a researcher with the Kenya Medical Research Institute, Dapivirin ring was first a tropical HIV prevention method to be submitted for regulatory approval. It is an intravaginal silicone ring developed by the International Partnership Microbicides for HIV Prevention. Uh, once placed into the vagina, it, it releases an HIV uh, medicine called Dapivirin slowly for a period of 30 days. This is really exciting news because uh, what is uh, available for use is the uh, male or female condoms and also the oral daily pill which has proven uh, uh, really challenging for some women who need to prevent themselves against acquiring HIV. Dr. Grace Mboya, a researcher, says the goal of AMP is to prevent HIV infection using a broadly neutralizing antibody against HIV given through an IV infusion, while a vaccine teaches the body to make antibodies on its own. AMP involves giving the antibody directly to people. Neutralizing uh, antibody in itself is not a, a HIV vaccine, but it will still um, uh, can be used to also further um, the, the in the in the in the uh, pursuit of a HIV vaccine so um this this uh, amp study is a proof of concept uh, study so um i just wanted to to also bring that uh, bring that across Mary Nyandia, an oncology nurse at the Sori Lakeside Hospital, a facility that offers palliative care for patients from both Migori and Homa Bay counties, says the high HIV/AIDS prevalence rates in these regions are attributed to the upsurge of sarcoma cases recorded at the facility, a trend which she says is worrying. He is however optimistic that mitigation measures already put in place will save lives. Robbie Omondi K24 Newscast